It is uh, January 16th, 2017. Temperature about 15 degrees, uh, light winds. And I was um, heading down Highway 53 and I saw a, a truck and I knew it was hauling sand and I guess I never really paid too much attention to the sand plants. And so I thought today I would uh, go check a few of them out. So I started uh, following this truck to see where it was going. And this is the first area that we'll visit today. Looks like they're mining sand in the background there. And I don't think they're mining it today. I think they do it in the summertime. But it looks like there's an accumulation of sand uh, that they've already mined. For a while, the, the uh, sand mine uh, shipping shut down because the price of oil dropped so low that it wasn't economical for them to frack out in North Dakota. So they quit shipping the sand, but now it looks like uh, things are starting to go here. Uh, there's a lot of trucks running back and forth on that little stretch of highway there. Uh, they will be hauling this sand here that we're looking at to a uh, plant in New Auburn to be shipped, I believe. And it looks like it's going across there. There's a truck there. It looks like it's going on the scale to be weighed. And we have another truck coming around. We have a truck in the back there waiting and another one coming up behind him. So like I say, it is just a constant flow of trucks. And we're flying today about uh, 265 feet right here. Or maybe they could be hauling it over to get processed too. I'm not sure if they're if they're processing it here at this site or not. It almost looks like they are. And here comes another truck up in the scale. And another truck coming around the backside, and here comes another truck in. <laughs> Looks like they got quite the operation there. I guess I don't know enough about the operation to really um, to really be able to tell you exactly what's happening here, but my guess is they're um, digging it off the back of the pile here and loading these trucks up. Yep, there's an end loader right there, and he is uh, filling up the truck. So we got three trucks in the back, one truck came off the scale, and one truck is going on the scale. Looks like there's a cornfield right underneath me.
In a little while later, we'll go um, fly around some of the processing plants. And it sounds like there's some other plants that have been advertising for help that have a uh, starting date in March there where they're going to start up some more plants. So there must be a market for it again. Evidently the uh, fracking sand, they uh, pump into the ground to force oil out. And they were doing that pretty heavily in um, North Dakota. Uh, but there is some fracking sand I know that goes down to um, Texas too. So that's what these guys must do all day is haul loads of sand to another uh, plant there where they uh, do the shipping. They have the railroad cars and it's uh, shipped by rail. And that's kind of a look from the back side there. It was really a nice day to be out. And when I started out in the morning, there was frost on the trees. That was really pretty. But the sun is attempting to come out, but uh, there seems to be fighting with some clouds still hanging around in the area. It actually started out at 4 degrees this morning, and it's going to constantly warm up all day to um, right around 31 degrees, I believe. And it sounds like we have some freezing rain coming in tonight. Okay, yeah, I think that's about all we'll see right here. And we have January 16th. Today I decided to uh, do some flying around some of the sand plants in the area here in New Auburn, around the New Auburn area. And uh, when I took off there, um, I had a little trouble with the uh, Phantom 4 Pro. Uh, I would hit record and it would record for a little bit and then stop. And then I'd hit record, it'd record for a little bit and stop. So right in the front there, the video is a little messed up. But uh, then I hit it, and all of a sudden it decided to run pretty good. So, so now we're uh, flying up to this plant here. We can see we got some trucks running.
And we got some trains there. It looks like they're loading up some cars. We are probably up to about, oh, I would say um, maybe 18 degrees now outside, and uh, we're flying about 250 feet. That's 250 feet up in the air. The other thing I noticed too, um, when uh, flying by some of these sand plants, uh, not so much this, but the uh, uh, there was one plant there where uh, there was I really had some signal issues. Now I wasn't that far away, and um, we were having some video. The video that was getting back to me um, would kind of cut in and out, would kind of flicker. And we can see some of the cars here. There's a lot of them. Looks like we've got some cars moving there. The uh, If you look uh, the second set down there, it looks like they're backing that up. That set up maybe to join with the other cars. Uh, nope, that's on a separate track. I think. There's a lot of them there. You can imagine how much money in rail cars alone are all in the sand. You can't tell me there must not be some money to be made here. And just keep going on and on. Yeah, it's good to see the uh, the cars moving and sand moving and. People have good jobs. Uh, they actually pay fairly well. I know there were some uh, people from the uh, plant that I worked at um, that quit to go work in the uh, sand plants. And they kind of got a shock when... Uh, they started, or they stopped um, shipping sand because the oil prices got so low. But now it looks like uh, they're back in business again, and uh, they must be shipping sand. I know they were always shipping sand in smaller quantities down to Texas, but a lot of the uh, fracking in North Dakota kind of stopped when the oil prices dropped. Yeah, it looks like they got four engines on that train.
be kind of interesting interesting to uh, take a tour through one of the plants and see how one of them works. So basically at this plant here, they aren't mining anything. They're just uh, processing, I think, and uh, shipping. They might not even be processing. They might just be shipping too. I'm not sure. But this is the uh, second operation, and uh, we got two more to visit yet. So we better get this thing in the ground and uh, head down the road a little ways. And we have uh, January 16th, 2017, and we are flying by New Auburn, uh, sand plant number three. And this one here, I think out of all of them, is my favorite one. And the reason being is I like the way they have all their rail cars kind of going in a circle there. That seems to make a lot of sense. Looks like they're digging from the uh, pile there. And that was stuff that was uh, stored up since uh, last summer. They quit uh, sending some uh, sand to uh, North Dakota there when the uh, oil prices uh, took a dive there. Uh, they quit fracking in North Dakota. And uh, these places here had stockpiles you would not believe of sand sitting out. The uh, sand piles were just huge. And uh, now I see they're kind of whittling them down here. When you stop and think about it, there's a lot of people whose incomes are, I are impacted uh, when the production is stopped. A lot of truck drivers. I mean, there's probably hundreds of truck drivers that uh, are looking for work if they aren't hauling sand. A lot of equipment. You think of all the millions of dollars worth of trucks sitting idle.
Yeah, you can see the inloader back there, filling up trucks back in the sand pile back there. And in the uh, background there, we're, uh, we have uh, Highway 53 uh, going north and south. That's the traffic you see back there. And you can kind of start to see the big loop these rail cars are making here. When they put one of these plants up, they go up pretty quick. I guess probably one of the disadvantages, and I'm not sure how much this affects them, is um, when they stack these big piles up and you get a big wind, how much of that is blown away. Evidently the uh, silica is not a good thing to breathe in. I know the landowner uh, gets a cut of the sand that they haul out. They can uh, get some pretty big checks. Normally if you bought a chunk of land and it was all sandy, that wasn't a good thing. But <laughs> in this case, it's a great thing. The sandy soil doesn't hold moisture, so if you're trying to grow stuff, you know, the moisture just... Um, drains down into the ground fast so if you're trying to grow crops or something like that they um, they tend to have a hard time because the, there's no moisture because the moisture uh, sinks into the ground so fast Well, if they find the sand you want in your land, you can become a millionaire overnight. I know when the sand plants first started, there were a lot of people concerned about the traf truck traffic, and um, uh, the uh, sand plant owner said, um, our truck drivers will not speed. If they get caught speeding, they're fired. Uh, they are pretty hard in the roads, so... But I think they even fund road repairs, too, I think. Uh, what they do is the individual area that they're in, they make deals with the uh, townships and counties and stuff before they let them mine and all that stuff's worked out ahead of time. Land reclamation, all that is all worked out ahead of time. Uh, some areas even limit the amount of trucks, uh, the number of trucks and the hours the trucks can run. I'm sure they don't let them haul at night.
Well, this is uh, plant number three, and we have one more to visit. So we'll get this thing in the ground and uh, head down the road a little further. And we have January 16th, 2017. And by now the temperature's gone up to about uh, 25 degrees. It's supposed to be climbing all day. For our little uh, sleet storm tonight. And this is our fourth plant that we are flying by today. This one here is actually a big one. These guys have a lot of piles of sand laying around, usually during the summertime. Looks like a little bit different setup than the other ones. One of the things uh, these sand plants like is they like to set up by railroads. So if they can buy sand that's close to a railroad, uh, that's a good thing for them. I can't imagine what it cost them even just to lay all the tracks down. This actually, this plant here was the one that I had the most problem with signals on. Uh, I wasn't flying very far away and I had my video signal kind of cut out and I would always get it back right away but I don't know if the uh, high voltage lines um, right down below are causing an issue but uh, normally uh, they don't bother. And I wouldn't mind flying up that road there to get a look at the other side of the plant, but um, I try to respect their property and uh, stay off of it. So normally I just try to fly um, by the road.
And so now we'll probably try to come back here. And here they are making what is kind of a, what we thought was a nuisance, the sand. Uh, they're turning it into green stuff.